Good evening. Scott's off tonight. I'm Jim Axelrod. A lot of holiday plans are out the window tonight due to a powerful storm system that stranded travelers on highways and at airports. It's blamed in at least six deaths. In the south, there are reports that 41 tornadoes have touched down since yesterday. One of them sheared off the front of the Trinity Episcopal Church in Mobile, Alabama. Luckily, no one was injured. The same system brought a blizzard to parts of the Midwest, forcing the cancellation of more than 1,400 flights. Tonight, it's all headed to the Northeast. Winter storm warnings have already been posted. Troy Kehoe of our CBS station in Indianapolis begins our coverage. Troy? Well, Jim, here in Bloomington, Indiana, we've already seen 11 and a half inches of snow so far, and it is still coming down with blizzard conditions here in the Midwest and tornadoes in the South. This has been a two day storm that is leaving much of the country paralyzed. Blinding snow with wind gusts topping 35 miles an hour have created whiteout conditions in the plains in Midwest. By midday, a half foot of snow had already fallen in Indianapolis. George Cummings has been trying to keep the streets clear and safe all day. We're fighting a losing battle, but uh, it's still one worth, worth fighting. Safety officials have issued mandatory orders to stay home and off the roads. Car accidents and fallen trees are to blame for at least six fatalities. Some areas are expecting nearly two feet of snow by the time the storm passes. In Arkansas, roughly 200,000 people will have to make it through the night in the cold without power. Millions trying to return home after Christmas are also now stranded. Over the past two days, 1,700 flights have been canceled and at least 2,000 have been delayed. In the South, Christmas night spawned reports of tornadoes from Alabama to Texas. Oh, hey, it's coming through. It's right here. It's right here. This massive twister tore through Mobile, Alabama, where more than 130 homes and businesses were damaged or destroyed. I was screaming and hollering. I, I, I mean, I was just scared to death. Sam Moore surveyed the damage in his neighborhood in Pennington, Texas. And this used to be a really big, as you can see by the, the size of the slab, used to be a huge feed store in metal. I'm talking about it wasn't a weak building at all. It was a, a well-built building and man, it just, you see what it did to it. It's amazing. And emergency personnel here got some much needed help from the Indiana National Guard today. Troops were deployed here to help check on stranded motorists and check on shut-ins. Jim. Troy Kehoe in Bloomington, Indiana for us. Thank you.